Welcome to Pick Apart TV, episode number three. I'm Josh Paulison. In Pick Apart TV, I study a specific element of a TV series or episode, and this isn't a review station, so it doesn't matter the quality of the content. And I take the angle of what lessons we can draw from it as writers. By the way, I don't take that statement as, like, I actually like what we're going through today. Today we are looking at How I Met Your Mother, in case you remembered that little piece that I ba 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 at the beginning. We are looking in particular at season number two, episode number four, Ted Mosby, Architect. This is something that I see in general with the How I Met Your Mother series, which I actually like quite a bit. And that is, we are going to focus on the change in the character Robin at the end of the episode. When it comes to character changes and developments and trying to resolve conflicts, as writers, we can think of just the external. What should they do? But in general, the real problem isn't what should they do, because if you just change yourself in one area where there's a conflict, in general, that conflict is going to come up in other places. The real issue is, what is the mindset here? What is the idea? What is the concept? And How I Met Your Mother, I would say, does a very good job of asking the question, not, oh, well, what should I do? But in a lot of cases, it can touch on more so, what's the actual mindset? Yes, There is just discussion about, well, you know what, you should listen to him. But it also goes into, well, these are just the feelings that come along in relationships. These are just pieces of emotions, and that's not a bad thing. And then Robin at the end has to confront herself a bit with, okay, well, I don't like relationships because I don't like these feelings. I don't like dealing with this. I want to close myself off to these things. I avoid relationships because of these. So she has to make a choice, and it's a mindset choice. It's a decision about who she will become. And that's really how characters change. They don't change by just saying, you know what, I'm going to try harder. Can you change by just trying harder? Maybe a little bit, but not to the extent of a real heart change. And so that's something that I really like about the How I Met Your Mother series, at least what I've seen up to this point, and that is that in a lot of cases... They can focus more on the mindsets of things rather than just the doing things. So as a writer in your own stories, when you want a character to change or develop, don't just look at what they should do or changes that they need to make to their habits. What is usually going on is a mindset issue. If your character tends to yell out in public places, as in like they get really angry and they just, they let it all out in public, it's probably not, oh, well, you know what, just don't let your anger out in public. They probably have a different mindset or they need to be, they need to resolve conflict sooner or maybe they need to process it in another way or maybe it's more so a mindset of, well, why do I explode in public? Why is it that this is something that happens? Do I let it fester? Is it perhaps that I'm really bad at expressing it? Is it that I don't feel valuable enough to express it? Do I want the public attention? So when you want characters to become who they need to be for the climax, for example, maybe your character needs to make a really difficult choice, don't just look at what should they do, but look at who do they need to become. And the character may choose to become that person. They might be aware, conscious of the decision and the potential change, or maybe they will turn down that opportunity, that knowledge. They won't pursue it and really look at changing. Thanks so much for listening to Pick Apart TV. This has been episode number three. Tomorrow we will come back with another episode or I will, I'm a one, I I do this on my own. (laughs) So if you want to get in contact with me, you can at Josh Paulison on Twitter or you can check out my website, joshpaulison.com for tons of free resources on story creation and development. Thank you, have a fantastic day and enjoy the show.